Hey everybody, Texas Stroker here, Lance's Performance Shop along with SarahMobars.com. Sunday evening, about 6.30, kind of cold. We were up in the 80s, dropped down to 55, and I can tell you that because this is one of those rare pertinent videos. This is not something that was filmed in October, December that gets released in spring or summer. This is literally April 23rd, and you're going to see this for the Wednesday video. So, what do we have going on? It's usually something special when we mention that. And I'm just going to cut right to the chase. If you do nothing else, just stay tuned for like the next minute or so, because, as most of you know, I'm almost always wearing gloves. And the reason for that, we will talk about later. But, if you like them, if you brought some in, if you think, man, I kind of need another pair, if you pick up the Alpha Vibes from Alpha Gloves. Use the discount code of Lone Star Bogo. That is Lone Star B-O-G-O. -O. I'll have it down below for you. Get those for $33.99 if I'm not mistaken. You will get these for free. And what are those? Well, we're going to talk about that. But essentially, come in, you make your purchase, Lone Star Bogo. You get the Alphas, and then you come in, Vibe, I should say, and then you get the little Cut 3 gloves. Those are relatively new, and you think, hey, how come you haven't talked about those? Well, I have, <laughs> and uh, it was a lost video sometime, oh, I don't know, I think the end of July last year, uh, about a week out from the end of the month, these all came in, I had a new shipment of gloves, some of them uh, have gone to exotic locations far from me, and uh, some of them might also be waiting to go to an even more exotic location, so I can't really divulge all the details there but in due time it'll make sense I promise but uh, what we're gonna do is just kind of recap some of this for you so um, long story short and I still uh, people that have you know just found the channel or started watching it or maybe watched it and came back it's a deal where I'll get questions like hey you know you wear a glove all the time how come you do that you didn't used to I'm gonna try to condense this as best I can but I'm at work and I'm the only person that's changed bandsaw blades since like 2008, like exclusively, all right? Uh, we had some issues, I got them all ironed out, everything's going good. Uh, once you find someone that can properly anneal a blade, it's amazing how much life increases. But all that aside, I've been doing this for at the time of the incident, which I think was 2019, which is kind of crazy, hard to believe. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, it's a lot of bandsaw blades, right? Two saws, they're identical. One I run a 5 8 for solid stock, other I run 6 10 for light stock and wood when we make pallets, so on and so forth. All that aside, basically, when a blade breaks and I replace it, I come in and I do a couple of things. I seat the blade, I run the blade, I make sure I like it, make sure it sounds good, and then I do a series of cuts to break the blade in through a random 4x4 that's sitting in the floor. So, uh, and I also check the head weight, everything like that. The tension, I've had a guy out there with the tension gauge, and basically I just crank down on it, and I can never actually get the ideal amount of tension, so we're home free. <laughs> it's one of those things, when you do it long enough, you get familiar with the way things sound, and you know when something's off or wrong, um, the guys never clean the saw out, you know, that always like comes back on me. And so you come in and you get all the chips out and the metal shavings and everything and you make sure nothing's like the blade hasn't dropped down and was like cutting into the casing or something. This was an innocent sound. I decided it was like a set screw, you know, for like the hinge most likely. And so I'm trying to identify which one it is. These are old Kalamazoo's. And the back channel, I mean, it's about like that. Uh, this is something what happened to me. I could attempt to replicate it a hundred times in front of every one of you that watched this video. And I would probably fail a hundred times. It's just a freak deal. These gloves, my thumb is here at the end of the glove. Prior to wearing alphas at work, I always wore, particularly when I'm doing the blade, uh, because again, they come coiled up. It's 131 inches and it comes in a coil that's like four times wrapped up. Okay. So when you sit there and you spring it out, I mean, like, you make that first one and it kind of gets wavy and long, you know, it's the metal expanding out like a spring, kind of. And so if you don't have gloves on, you're going to cut your palms, you know, unless you have, like, rhino skin, which if it was my forehands, I probably wouldn't get cut. But sadly, it's your palm where the blade is. So you've got the gloves on, and of course, you know, it's an industrial location, so we've got welding, grinding, lathes, everything running, the forklift in the back was going... Uh, you name it, there's like a lot of noise, and so I'm trying to listen in on the saw and identify where the noise is coming from. 
the blade is running obviously the case has to be up when you're trying to investigate these things that's the only time the case is up when you change the blade or you're trying to identify an issue and the overage of the glove you know like it's one of those wells lamont style split palm leather you can find them at big box stores and your suppliers and stuff and it's just like the glove the you know fingers are pretty good but then like the thumb is huge <laughs> And somehow, in that channel, like, if I wouldn't have had the glove on, it wouldn't have happened. Uh, but the glove got caught, and then instead of ripping the glove off my hand, it took my hand, you know, about from here to here, and it was crushed. People think, oh, you know, you cut your, sod your thumb off. Uh, this is more of a crushing injury. <laughs> and, uh, I'm not an NFL quarterback, and uh, I don't guess I have the right insurance or whatever to impress people, so you kind of get treated like trash. Uh, the ER told me that my thumb would be amputated uh, if I didn't like get right in, and of course no one gets me right in, so I'm about to head in the car and go to Lubbock or Dallas, and uh, finally I get a call back, and the surgeon guy that was out of town that was supposed to be in town on call on duty or whatever, uh, he's like a hand expert, he turned out to be okay, but his last words to me, all that aside in the middle that was a mess with the medical people, which always is, he was like, hey, you're going to need to wear gloves. And, you know, you're gonna, your nerve is going to regrow back, you know, like super slow, a couple millimeters a year or something. And maybe it'll come back good and maybe it never will. <laughs> so my, my words to him was like, okay, what gloves? I figured he's like going to tell me to go to CVS aisle 7B or something or, you know, go online to, you know, handdoctor.rx or something and pick up this pair of gloves. And he just had a blank look on his face and he was like, oh, geez, no one's ever asked me this before. And so, you know, because I figured there's like some ridiculous splint type thing, glove, you know, and um, I started emailing places and I'm like, hey, you know, because surely my thoughts are somebody maybe with like a more attentive doctor or somebody actually makes this stuff would know any things. And so you name the glove company, I contacted them. Uh, most of them did not respond to me. The ones that did had like almost a verbatim generic legal team response of we're not allowed to give you medical you know, uh, you know, decisions or information, or basically we just don't care to help you. And so here's this reason why. And I had one person that actually, you know, listened and wanted to help. And that was Josh at Alpha Gloves. And uh, that's why I got Alpha Gloves in here. And I have literally worn them ever since. My thumb actually looks pretty good. Uh, in certain lights, you can see like the stitch lines, the guy that stitched it. You know, if you recall, I dated several nurses <laughs> during college. And uh, the one that I'm still real good friends with, like I sent it to her like live. I was getting all my medical advice from her because the local people suck. And she's like, wow, whoever stitched that did really good. <laughs> and so uh, it's like good, but it's a deal where when cold fronts come or the barometric pressure changes, I'm like an old man now, you know, a little psychic a couple hours before a change in the weather. And ultimately it's just sometimes like it'll just this thumb I can grab and hold this socket, you know, with a death grip, and I let go, and you might see, like, coke eventually imprinted. If I do that with this thumb, it just, like, flattens out. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there's, like, bone fragments in there based on the x-ray. Uh, but again, since I'm just a uh, blue-collar working-class guy, no one really cares about me. And I can't find anyone that does. So, uh, it's just, is what it is, apparently. And uh, it works pretty good most of the time. Sometimes, like, I can be holding something as innocent as, like, a pin, you know, like signing when a delivery comes, and it'll just kind of twitch out. I don't know the science behind it. I just know that, once again, I've been proven that I have a strong distrust for people in the medical field. And uh, that's the end of it. So that's where Josh came in. That's why I wear Alpha Gloves. Again, if I were to pull this off, it is not hideous. The thumbnail's back. I mean, it looks pretty good. Aside from sometimes it's just like kind of flat, which, uh, you know, no one explained that to me. And all I can figure is it was crushed and it hasn't restored form. And I don't know that it ever will. But for the most part, you would not know unless you're like super into stitches and you're like oh you know i see some stitch lines there but like i said uh, it's a weird deal sometimes it's like looks just like this other times in like certain weather conditions or if i've been active or something maybe it like shows up a little bit more there's like a redness around it but that's the story uh, in a nutshell and so basically no one cared except for one random guy that i'd never spoke to prior which was josh at alpha and that's why i've worn those gloves so uh, coming in, of course, he kind of sent out like, you know, like, try all this stuff. And I'm going to take you back in time and kind of show you some of that. So the first 
pair of gloves that I started wearing uh, that winter would be right here. This is sort of their cream of the crop, or at least the most expensive. Uh, those are the A6 Renegades. These are leather. They'll set you back $39.99. And they are, to date, the only pair of alphas I have put holes in, because those are not what I had. These are. And these things held up for forever. I typically was going through gloves uh, the work gloves, which, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of. It's like three weeks, you know, if I get lucky, I would continue wearing them until it gets to a point like the finger holes annoy me when they get slightly larger. But it's basically like three weeks and I've got holes and stuff, all right? So with these, you can see kind of thumb and index finger. This actually is not through all the way. That's just the outer coating coming off. This one is through all the way, right hand thumb. This index finger is actually partially through all the way. The thumb is in good shape. I guess it's the way I hold and carry things. Who knows? But uh, it took me forever to go through these. It took so long. Uh, when I first wore these, I had two different truck drivers <laughs> uh, come in and like, where are those gloves? Because they looked like this. And I told them, and I think one of them even went and bought a pair, like actually followed through and pulled the trigger. And so that was cool, but then it gets to a point they kind of look like this, and I have suppliers come in, and of course, you know, they'd make their delivery of item X, Y, and Z, and they're like, hmm, I think I could sell this guy some gloves. <laughs> so I was given a pair of gloves very similar to this. I think the brand was Juggernaut, and they were okay, but I wore a hole through them in about a month, and that's just how it is. In July, uh, when Josh sent these out to me last year, I immediately took a pair to work. So obviously this one is still bagged up and tagged up. This is perhaps the craziest thing that I've ever seen because this is the pair that I currently am still wearing at work. And I say still wearing, I have almost worn those exclusively. Uh, it's a situation sometimes like I know if I'm going to be moving metal, you know, or like pushing stock through the saw type of a thing. I'll go with something, you know, like more padded, but these are kind of like the hybrid deal. We've got a couple guys at work. Sometimes the old timers like the leather style that nearly took my thumb off. I've never worn those freaking gloves ever again. I never will. Uh, if I ever have to change jobs or something and I go somewhere and that's like standard issue, I will not be wearing them. I will never in my life wear that crap ever again. Uh, these right here though, you know, like I've had stuff like this at work and uh, it's... I think some of them are cut, some of them are cotton, but they have like the really thick, funky, like sci-fi cellulose looking palms on them. It's basically so you can like grab stuff that's either greasy, oily, or wet. We do all three. <laughs> so a couple of the guys swear by those. The palms usually don't get like torn and cut, but the backside of the glove will because it's cotton, right? I did not think these would last long. You know, like I expect this to last long. I expect that to last pretty long. I did not have any expectations for like a long life out of these. I figured like, you know, month or two type of a thing. And then I'd come and have to grab these if I liked them. This is the same exact freaking pair that I took to work. I think it was like last week of July, first week of August, whatever time it was. I filmed the video uh, that I lost the footage on. And these have no holes in them. Uh, that is the most amazing thing, uh, that they don't have any holes. You can see, like, the coating is coming off, but I have still not put a hole in these freaking gloves. <laughs> and, uh, that is what you will be getting for free, is a pair of these. If you're on the fence, if you're like, oh, no, 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 I want that. I don't care for this style of glove. Well, now's the time to buy that, especially if you need some, either A, for the first time, or B, you've worn your others out, or C, you brought them in on a trial run and you liked them so much you want to move those to your truck and get a new pair in the shop or you're going to take some to work whatever it is if you buy the vive impact you're going to get the cut three gloves for free if you see this and you're like well i've just recently bought some or i've got another glove that's new if you want these they're only 8.99 and it's one of those things i would suggest you try them because i have been thoroughly impressed i had zero expectations of these lasting long uh, in fact, what I did, I took a brand new pair of Vibes with me, and I took these, and I've worn these almost exclusively, and they have yet to get holes, which again is insane. This is, a, you're talking to a guy, and they go through those leather gloves, or like the frog grip, that's honestly what we call them. <laughs> like, I've got the girl trained where I buy them, like she knows when I say, you know, we need a pack of 12 of the frog gloves, she just knows what I mean. Um, I think they're called Gripper. 
if, if that helps any of you. But I just call them frog gloves, and you know, she gets it. So <laughs> we're, we're doing good there. Um, but right here, this is another true story, okay? I just recently, that same place that I get the frog gloves from, local supplier, uh, my supplier that I've dealt with, man, for like over a decade, uh, the sales guy outside sales, he is gone, he's retired finally, and we got a new guy replacing him, and he's been with the company for maybe two or three years, he saw these gloves, just like when people would see these and give me gloves, he saw these and he was like, oh, it looks like you need new gloves, <laughs> so just like the other guy, their vendors come in and they'll just give them freebies like hey you know give out these drill bits see if you can sell them give out these gloves see if you can sell them and these actually come from champion which i'm a big fan of their drill bits actually but uh you can see these are i think i've worn them like twice um at work just you know because i had them out there that's how there's this funky staining on them but the label was actually lifting ahead of time i want to point that out but he gave these to me because he thought those looked terrible now there's a reason that that's a badge of honor with gloves. If you say had these Milwaukee's, okay, which I was wearing these as I was like trying to find something better from Gloveland online after it happened, I got about two weeks out of these. This is as I'm basically like a cripple with only a left hand, and you can see everywhere where the seams split on these gloves. I did that in like two weeks with primarily just a left hand and four fingers, okay? Uh, these were junk. These performed about like the mechanics gloves. When mechanics was new and they were advertising on like the Nashville network when they had like the two shade tree mechanic and Stacy David and all that stuff Saturday morning. Uh, I was in the work program at school and so a bunch of us, you know, we all wore car hearts and we all got on a mechanics glove kit because we had to go to work zero hour or, or school I should say zero hour which I don't even remember what time, it was like 6.30 you had to be there. It's basically a class before the real classes start, right? You had zero hour, period before first period. And so it was freaking cold. They wouldn't run the heater for us because no one cares about the work program kids because apparently you shouldn't value people that work for a living and keep the world functional. So we're all bundled up in car hearts and we would wear gloves. The mechanics gloves were actually good then. I could go to AutoZone and I'd just get the basic ones and they would last a long time. By the time I'm like a senior and into college, the mechanics gloves started to suck. I don't know what they did. I assume they cheapened the materials or outsourced it to another place that doesn't make them as well. Um, I've shown them before. Uh, my last pair, they got so bad, I said, to heck with it. I'm just going to buy trash from Harbor Freight. And honestly, the hardy gloves, which were the closest I could find to what I was accustomed to wearing for mechanics, uh, those kind of lasted about like the early mechanics did. Maybe not quite as well, but way better than the current iteration. And then it got to a point I was just done with it, and that's why I started wearing like the thick leather ones at work, you know, which I never had issues with aside from like getting the overhang stuck in things. <laughs> Usually not traumatically as a saw. It's kind of like you set something heavy down, you're like, oh, you have to roll it back and pull your finger out. But uh, these, I never really get them to a point of like supplier A saying, hey, you need new gloves because they suck and I just wear them out ahead of time. These, even though they don't look great, uh, the first day I used these, I honestly painted a shelf. <laughs> and uh, I was really sad because I was like, I'm not going to get any paint on myself. And I did. And uh, that's what this red primarily is here. So that was that was on me, all that. For the longest time, every time I would put these back on, it retained the paint. Like, your hands would be clean, you would put those on, and you would take them off, and you would have, like, streaks of red paint. I can't explain it, but now they don't do that. So, I mean, and that was going back probably, like, August 1st of last year type of a time frame, so... Uh, but that's the selling point with these. Yeah, they don't look as good as that pair, and this pair doesn't look as good as what's underneath them. But that's what a good glove is going to do. It's like jeans, right? When they get faded out, but you can still wear them because they don't have holes in them, right? And there's not like indecent exposure laws you're subject to. They're just old. That's what these are. You know, I've worn them, and they just don't fail. And I keep wearing them because of that. They don't look brand new. That's really the only slight you could give them but that's a badge of honor because mini gloves like the new mechanics and like the uh milwaukee's over there i never get them to the point of looking like this that people have sympathy for the poverty stricken man that can't afford new gloves <laughs> have handouts thrown at me right so that's the story on alpha gloves they've 
it was just a stroke of luck, you know, I guess finding Josh. I think it was like a Jegs ad for the Driver X gloves. And I was like, oh, let me see what else Alpha has. Never heard of him. And he actually took time out of his day and was sympathetic and had similar stories from other people he'd worked with and known of. Uh, again, he worked at a couple other glove companies prior to starting Alpha. And he was the one person that actually cared uh, enough to, you know, listen to the story and offer a glove. I mean, mechanics, they could have sold me gloves. Uh, the other places I contacted could have responded and sold me gloves. Uh, when you work for a living and it's your right thumb and you're right-handed, it's a very important thing. <laughs> and, uh, based on the ER, you know, it was a thing where it's like, oh, that's going to get amputated. And you're like, good Lord. So I take it seriously. Apparently not many else people do. But Josh took time out of his day, out of his life, uh, listened to the story, offered his insights, sent gloves to me. And truth be told, like if his gloves sucked, you know, I would have moved on. I would have been like, man, that guy was super nice. And maybe from time to time, I just come back and buy something, you know, because that does mean something to me. But the uh, real perk here is out of this incident that happened, I found gloves that are awesome and don't suck. And I say that every time you use the discount code of Lone Star for the 20% off, I make nothing off of that. My satisfaction comes from A, getting you hooked up with gloves that don't suck. And then B, you trusting me more like, hey, that guy was right. These are good. And C... Uh, it's kind of my way of thinking Josh. You know, he went out of his way for me. I believe in what he's doing here at the product. And it's just kind of a win across the board for everyone. So uh, coming in, though, to something else I want to hit on. We've had these for a really long time. Not this pair exactly, but this pair exactly. <laughs> okay. This ties in with what I just told you about these guys and the little uh, A3 cut gloves that you can get for free. These don't look great. They're dirty. They're greasy. You've seen them in the Ram Revival. You've seen me wear them other times. They kind of got to a point where like, I quit wearing them for like tool hauls and stuff uh, because I want the gloves to look clean and I don't want like the tools to get scruffy and you know be because of the glove and then the tool looks bad. If you look at these, pop wearing areas you've seen it personal experience on these gloves that i've showcased you index finger and thumb check no holes <laughs> right here index finger and thumb there is not a hole it is insane how long these last uh the pad is also still pretty thick that's the advantage of these over like a standard glove is these are designed for impact use so if you're running a pneumatic hammer all day, if you're changing tires all day, if you just have to come in and you've got something seized and you're going to be rattling your you know, hands to death, that's where a glove like this shines and takes precedent. But I have had these for forever. No, they don't look clean. No, they don't look brand new anymore, but they don't have holes. They're fully functional, just like the cut gloves. So... Coming in after that, another pair of gloves, which I think these are getting phased out, which is kind of bittersweet. On the flip side, it's kind of like V-Haw. They don't have like a low-tier screwdriver, so you just get the good stuff off the bat if you buy. This will kind of be like their base mechanic style glove, if you will. But this right here was the standard. And if you think, dude, what do you do with red paint here? This is not from work. And I paused and I was like, what did I do to make those red? Uh, this was sanding on something. Uh, we took it from red to you can probably guess what color came next. This is the same setup here. Okay, like these are just as old as my vibes and there is not a hole in them. Now, I want to mention here at the house, I've got a ton of gloves and I do cycle between them. And it's usually a situation it's whatever's closest to me. I've got, I think, another pair on the other side of the shop, and I just always have something handy. And these have never worn out. Those have never worn out. <laughs> the, ironically, the only ones I put holes in are these, and that took a really long time to do that. So, uh, bottom line, at 40 bucks, I would buy those without hesitation once again. Some people love this style. Some people hate it. Some people will strictly only wear stuff like this. They don't want, you know, like the finger protection. They don't have to worry about it. Or they just, ah, I need good dexterity is a common complaint. That would be the glove for you. Some of you, if you're running pneumatic stuff all day, this is the route you'd want to go. Some of you, if you're doing industrial stuff, you might prefer the leather. 
There might be a guy that works on Toyotas and he just wants leather. There might be a guy that's doing heavy, heavy equipment and he just wants the cut gloves. Everyone's got their preferences. <laughs> it's just kind of a situation where you can go through, try everything out slowly or all together at once and make do with it. So to recap, what is important to you is what you see here. All right. If you come in, and whether you're wanting to try these for the first time based on my ancient pair that's still intact, or if you're just like, oh, that's a pretty good deal, $33.99 gets you a pair of Vibe Impact Gloves. They've got red, they've got black, there's Coyote, I believe, and then, of course, green, which if you weren't aware, you don't see the top side of my hand very often. Full finger protection. So basically whack myself or a coworker, and uh, it's going to be a lot better than if I was wearing something without these. Pick those up for $33.99 and boom, you get the Cut 3s for free. Like I said, maybe you love this style of glove and you despise anything like this. These are $8.99 and I can tell you right now, I have legitimately used that pair of gloves <laughs> since the end of July and I honestly am... They are the most impressive, but I think it's because I didn't really expect much from them. Uh, they're filthy, they look terrible, there's red paint, there's dirt, there's grease, there's oil, there's dust. There's tons of dust here where I live. But they're still intact, amazingly enough. $8.99 if you want to go that route. It's kind of up to you. If you want to try anything else out, you can do that as well. And again, do I make a dime off of this? Absolutely not. This is a situation, uh, Josh hit me up and said, hey, you want to run a BOGO? And I'm like, yeah, why not? <laughs> and, uh, that's just how I roll. If KC Tools comes in and says, hey, we got a whole bunch of Godoy ratchets we need to sell. Do you want to tell people they're 50% off? And I absolutely will because that's a win for you and that's the main thing. So whether you want to look at it is instead of paying 34 bucks for these, you're paying 23 or I guess 25 I should say. Or if you just want to look at it, just buy that and get that free. However you need to pan it out, that's what you can do. Similarly, if you want to come in and you want to try out, you know, the Renegade or you've seen in my, uh, we showcased the plain Renegades for what I was going to use for TIG welding, you can do that. Um, that's about it though. That's what I wanted to tell you. I tried to get the important stuff out at the start and then if you stick around, you get the bonus content for a good Lord. He's not lying. Uh, which like I said, suppliers see these things and they're like, oh, well, time to get him some gloves and make some sales. Nope, uh, these are still good gloves. They just don't look new. <laughs> so between the standard, the vibe, and the cut gloves, that's that's my primary bread and butter stuff here. So I did bring uh, the right here home from work, and I brought these home from work. And uh, like I said, these lasted, it had to have been over two years, which is kind of insane. But uh tell you what it's it's one of those deals sometimes you get lucky i got lucky finding somebody that would like my right thumb is very important to me maybe no one else but to me <laughs> and uh, if any of you have had the same thing or maybe your dad or an uncle or a grandpa uh maybe your mom's like into carpentry or making you know little furniture knickknack things if anything happens like a direct family member it's a big deal you know you want to take care of them and i had to go through this kind of on my own because no one seemed to care Josh took time out of his day to listen to me, sent some gloves out, and like I said, they were pretty dang good gloves, so it's it's a win on that front. Uh, would I have preferred to find Alpha gloves, you know, without having nearly lost my thumb? Yes, 100% yes. Uh, but at the same time, like when you have to look back and take something positive away, that is the positive. I came across a guy that was willing to listen, had similar stories, uh, knew gloves extremely well, and made his own company. And like I said, testament here, Exhibit A, Exhibit B, and Exhibit C. Uh, I practice what I preach. If these gloves weren't good, I wouldn't be making this video. So once again, the main thing you're going to care about, unless you're curious because you're new about my glove always on the right hand, Buy a pair of the Alpha Vibe Impacts, which again, red, green, black, coyote. You get a pair of the Cut 3 gloves for free. I've always viewed these as kind of like, eh, you know, dinky. I'm never a big fan of the frog grip gloves. After wearing these <laughs> for, what, nine plus months or something now, uh, I'm sold. I love the dexterity in them. Uh, sometimes, yes, I'll come in and I'll throw these on. 
uh, at work, you know, it depends on what I'm doing, but just general purpose, got to go unload a truck or something, those are what are going on me. The thing I want to talk about on those that I haven't, I mentioned the frog grip gloves or the gripper. They have like a really wide cellular pattern on them, and these do not. These have what is called just like a sandy nitrile finish. It provides really good grip, really good texture, kind of an anti-slip feature, if you will, but it's not like as egregiously weird as those ones. They're blue palmed, if it helps anyone. Again, I'm sure local suppliers, whatever you know, outfits they're sourcing their gloves from for you, it might vary a little bit. Uh, ours are like that weird yellowy cotton and then a, just a blue palm. Uh, one of the older guys swears by those and loves them. And then other people, you know, wear just the leather ones. It's just kind of depends, I guess, what you're doing the most. But I love that palm. Obviously, does it come off? Yeah, after... <laughs> after a really long time but only in patches kind of like the heavy wear areas and the thing that's the most impressive is just i have not put holes in these things so um that's it that is the video for you i've got some other gloves that were sent out uh, one of them i'm really hesitant to show because it was something i hadn't seen before and uh i kind of want to get it to its end destination <laughs> Like I said, that all makes sense at some point in time. I've got videos recorded on it. I just can't release them because it would blow a surprise. So, um, kind of hesitant on that. But something I will throw down is right here. These gloves, my notepad fell down. I want to say these are thirty-two ninety-nine. But if you basically take the slide cotton glove, which we've never had a plain one, I'm eventually going to bring those in and there's a scuff that's supposed to be really good for like tire shop or your discount tire dude or something and uh, then there's like a slide insulated which is kind of the equivalent to what i had at work when i got my thumb taken off uh, i'm probably probably is form fitted a little bit better but these are stupid nice uh, they've always been what i'm going to go to next i just want to take the time to showcase them here for you uh, but this is their uh, leather so it's again going to be real similar to these but it's going to be the loose cuff, no Velcro. Um, I'll try to get this one on so you can see it. I actually plan to use these here at the house and kind of get like a report life cycle stuff on them. I'm just, I can't kill these, <laughs> so I, I don't do it. But uh, they're a very interesting glove. Again, something you might want to try out and dabble in if you prefer, you know, like a leather palm where you're like, yeah, I can't do that. I have to have leather. Well, this is another option for you. And again, you've got the metacarpal protection. Uh, nice tight fit and a uh, good feel on the thumb with the dexterity. You've got a sweat wipe which That's actually a very nice thing. I will tell you right now if you have never worked anywhere that's like super hot in the summer But uh, yeah, there is uh, like I said another pair here that I'm gonna just sort of keep under wraps for now and uh, You'll see it I guess whenever I get to release that video and then as I mentioned there's still a few alpha gloves We have never had here. Uh, I plan to bring those in at some point but uh, the main thing, this showcases what these look like after time, a long time in this case. Showcases what the Renegade A6 looks like after time. And then the, again, right here, I, I did not expect, I'm not this type of a glove person. Wasn't, I should say. I was always this type of a glove. Again, going back to high school, mechanics gloves, right? Um, this right here, though, it, it kind of won me over. And uh, I think I would have liked them even more if I wouldn't have gotten, you know, like all that red paint. They're like right there where you see that. For the longest time, anytime I put these things on, like I had red on my finger. It was bizarre uh, the way it retained that moisture. But uh, yeah, <laughs> these these have won me over. You know, it was a day like, oh, I'll try them out. And you know, I figured I wouldn't wear them much. I think yeah, time to switch. Nope. Uh, they have been my primary workhorses at work. So. Uh, with that said, I will quit rambling. I do hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a little something. If nothing else, I hope that you learned this. Buy a pair of the Vibe Impacts and get a pair of the Cut 3 for free. Again, if you you know hate this style of glove, but you think, well, geez, you know, he seems to have gotten really good life out of those. The ones I have suck. $8.99. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong. Particularly if you just, like, grab a couple pairs. Or maybe you want to get started with one, but you're interested in, say, this or something different type of a deal. Uh, whatever works best for you, but the big promo right now, Lone Star BOGO, you'll get a pair of the Vibe Impact, your choice of colors. Uh, these come default. That is, believe it or not, the cookies and cream look. That's what these were like originally, not like brown <laughs> dirt and grease. 
but uh, this is how they come and right here on the vibe you got a couple of choices of colors you can pick from as well as sizes on both fronts so um, $33.99 gets the $8.99 pair of gloves for free and uh, as far as I know the discount code of Lone Star is still good too so if you're like well you know I'm not that type of guy but these interest me I guess you can get 20% off of $8.99 so go to town that way if you want to see how long these last for you uh, before you get a hole in them again uh, discount code of Lone Star but the main thing Lone Star BOGO B-O-G-O at the end I'll have it down below that'll get you free pair of gloves when you purchase the Vibe Impact so I know a lot of you have brought these in if you're one of those people that has and you're watching this video in the comment section let me know how have they held up for you is it a situation where this is far and away the best glove you've ever used is it pretty good but not as good as brand x uh, if so why is it a dexterity thing is it a you know like you thought you would like these but you hate it and you want just like a plain glove uh, whatever the story may be feel free to leave your thoughts down below again the f people that i've heard feedback from uh, everyone's kind of been like me and, uh, if there's better gloves out there i've yet to find them and we went through a ton of gloves uh, when i was trying to you know keep my thumb so like i said right thumb dominant hand kind of important to me so uh, but yeah whatever your thoughts and experiences are feel free to leave them down below and uh, with that said i hope you enjoyed the video if you like it leave a like if you like several of the videos we do i encourage you to subscribe um, you ring your Ring the bell, jump your charger across the creek with your gloves on while you take it off and put it back on before you nail the landing. YouTube just might notify you that we got new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, 9 a.m. Texas time. Most important thing though, I hope you have yourself a fantastic rest of the week and I hope that I catch you back here for more action from the shop.